CICD, GitLab plus Argo CD. So 99% of developers they don't even understand what is it and how it works. So this is the complete architecture of high level overview. So I'll explain it one by one. So developer stage. So developer stage writes the code and make any changes and push their changes to the remote GitLab repository. Now GitLab repository here comes okay so what it do is stores the application code ci cd pipeline configuration with the help of gitlab ci.yml file then detects the new push event if there are any changes and it triggers the ci cd pipeline automatically so okay then it will move on to the argo cd so argo cd it's a git ops tool that continuously monitors the gitlab repository and pulls the updated Kubernetes manifest and docker image references that's why I have given you the references here and then it ensures the liveness, liveness of the Kubernetes cluster matches the desired state in the git repo okay then it automatically syncing and rollback if any necessary changes then it move on to the Kubernetes cluster so before that it docker build is there right so it builds the application into the docker images inside the ci cd pipeline okay then it pushes the image to the container registry either docker hub or gitlab registry or ecr anything so it provides the so image reference to the kubernetes deployment and it will come back to the kubernetes cluster so kubernetes cluster receives the updated manifest and here we can see the manifest plus images okay whichever is comes from the docker and argo cd so it receives the updated manifest and container images from the argo cd deploys the application resources like pods services ingress config max etc etc then it will move on to the next stage that is image reference for the kubernetes deployment managing scaling and networking and availability of the application then finally running the application that is the user access so end users can able to access the deployed application via ingress load balancer service okay this is how the complete overview then application need now running in the production or test environment to test the issues so this is the complete overview if you have any questions in mind you can comment it below i'll uh, answer that and uh, i hope this helps you to understand if if this information is helpful and uh, hope you might uh, get some idea so thanks for watching and subscribe uh, code with chandra